In this video, we will show that the class of decidable languages is closed under complementation. So first, uh, this proof is actually fairly simple and straightforward if we remember the definitions of complement and of what it means for a language to be decidable. So let's start with complement. Uh, let's call some string w. Okay, so w is going to be an element of L complement if and only if w is not an element of L. Okay, likewise w is not an element of L complement if and only if w is an element of L. Okay, remember that's what complement means, so if this is my universe of all strings and this is L, what's L complement? L complement. Okay, so again, a, if a string is in L, it's not in L complement. If a string is in L complement, it's not in L. Okay, what's the definition of a decider? Um, or what's the definition of a decidable language? A decidable language uh, is one in which we can say um, that there is a Turing machine that will say yes, that string is in the language, or no, that string is not in the language for every string. Okay, so let's let L be a decidable language and let D be the Turing machine that decides L. Okay, so what happens with D? We feed it a string and it's going to say yes, that string is an L, or it says nope, that string is not an L. That's what D does. Okay, so we're going to construct D prime to be the Turing machine that decides, ah, that is, I don't even know what happened there. That decides L complement. Okay, so what does D prime do? It says on input W, we know that D exists. D is the decider for L. We are going to run D on W. It's going to say, yes, that string is an L. If D accepts W, reject. If D comes back and says, yep, W is an L, then we say, okay, then it's definitely not an L complement. If D rejects W, D says, nope, W is not an L, then we know W is an L complement. Okay, so all we do is we reverse the answer that D gives us, and that will give us the decider for L complement um, given that D is a decider for L. Um, notice that this will not work if L is recognizable but not decidable because this right here, in order to accept, we need to get a rejection from D. And if D is a recognizer, it may not give us this rejection. It might run forever and then we would not be able to accept. Okay, so this does not work for uh, recognizable languages, only for decidable languages.